I came from a system administration background, so I wasn't a security analyst when, before I went into uh, pen testing, but you did come from a security analyst. Do you think being a security analyst gives you any kind of advantage um, going into pen testing? Like, for example, I guess a more direct question would be, um, if someone can skip security analyst and go straight to pen testing, should they do that? Or should they take that security analyst position um, for a little bit first and then getting the pen testing? Well, what's your take on that? I would probably say like change like security analyst to what you did system administration. I'd recommend mm -hmm. that more towards being a security analyst before you get into pen testing. Because okay. security analyst, you're, you're not, I would say directly like interacting with anything. Uh, you're kind of just like looking at alerts. Maybe you're doing threat hunting, that kind of thing, but you're not actually doing, I, I would say like any like setup or directly in interacting with any kind of machines or services or components. Whereas if you're a system administrator, Linux or windows, uh, you're directly like working and being experienced with either like the, the network or the system or the environment. So I would recommend system administration before you get into pen testing rather than like being a security analyst yeah um i didn't i didn't realize that uh would that, that answer kind of surprised me because you know cause i'm a like i said i used to be a system administrator and i've worked with you know active directory a lot because that's that's pretty much what um i mean the whole air force I, I came from the air force active duty uh and that's like what the whole network is is active directory so knowing how active directory works it's supposed to work and and how to um, you know, assigned privileges and stuff was uh, definitely gave me an advantage. But I, for some reason, I always thought like, oh, maybe if you a system or sorry, a security analyst would have an advantage. But um, I guess it's not the case according to you. So that's uh, it's interesting. though. thanks for highlighting that. Yeah, I would say it's like that benefit of in order to like know how to break something, know how to you have to be able to like build it correctly and, and understand how it's being built and that kind of stuff. So system administrator helps with that aspect over security analyst. Nice, you may nice. see like malicious queries as a security analyst. Uh, you may come across as like an actual attacker in your environment or maybe a pen test that's going on, but you're kind of just seeing the end of it rather than how it's actually like the entire process of it. So you mentioned that uh, Active Directory is your favorite type of pen testing. Is that the type of pen testing you're doing the most often? Uh, and what other kinds of pen testing are you doing day to day right now? Uh, it's the most often, it's it's definitely the most often that I'm doing now. I would say the second is probably web in, in some, some form, but most are, uh, I guess, Active Directory based, which is good. Usually, usually, hopefully, if you're in a good pen testing environment, um, I strictly shy away from trying to be good at everything just because this even pen testing is so broad. You can spend your entire life like trying to learn it all and you're not even going to come close. So picking a specialty uh, that you really love is really important. And if you're in a good working and collaborative work environment, hopefully your like job leader or your supervisor would help you uh, mainly specialize and put you as like a priority for the type of assessments that you want to do. But I've done a couple. I've done, I would say like, the array. I think the only ones that I haven't really touched have been uh, mobile and like ICS industrial control systems. Usually the only the only two I haven't. I've done uh, physical, like on site. I've done red teaming, web, cloud, uh, external, internal network. I'm trying to think if there's like really any others. IoT hacking? Have you done any of that? No. I guess that's the other one. I kind of put that as like ICS, but they're they're not <laughs> they're not the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I mean. For me, I've only, so right now I'm doing internal and external assessments in web applications. I feel like I run in, um, I'm being assigned more web apps than anything. Um, and um, so I've only been a full-time pen tester for, it's been less than half a year now. And I'm, I'm discovering what I like and what I don't like. So, you know, I always tell people like, you know, go into the field being a generalist. And I, I uh, like for me, like going in as like a pen testing generalist and doing different types and then uh, maybe specialize later on. Yep. Um, so that that's that's really good advice because th you're gonna find one that you like more than others. Like I feel like that's yeah, just uh, an inevitable. Um, and then, like you said, you can't know everything about everything. Like like even like senior web app pen, pen testers like don't know everything about web apps. You know. Right. So it's just it's that's what makes it feel fun because you can't know everything about everything, and there's always something new.